Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically add new files from Dropbox to Notion database. So I'm a project manager at a marketing agency and my team members keep sharing me files related to my projects on my Dropbox. So here in this case, I want whenever a new file is added in my Dropbox, automatically that file should be created as an item in my Notion database so that I can keep the track of all the project files at one place. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically add new files from Dropbox to Notion database. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I'm a project manager at a marketing agency and my team members often upload important files like images, videos and documents to Dropbox. So here in this case I want whenever any of my team member upload any file, image or video in my Dropbox, automatically that file should be created as a new item in my Notion database as well. So here transferring these files manually to my Notion database to keep track of everything can be a hustle. So here I'm going to connect my Dropbox to my Notion database so that I can automate this entire process. And this way all my project files are organized in one place making it easier for me to track progress, share updates with my team and ensure everyone has the latest files without extra work. This integration saves my time and keeps my projects running smoothly. So here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to connect my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as add new files from Dropbox to Notion database. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Public Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name add new files from Dropbox to Notion database. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Dropbox. So Dropbox is a cloud storage service that lets you save and share files online, making them accessible from any device with internet access. Think of it as a virtual locker where you can keep your documents, photos and videos safe and easily reachable. People use Dropbox because it simplifies the process of storing and sharing files with others, whether it's for personal use, school projects or work collaborations. It also has features like automatic backup and syncing, so your files are always up to date and secure. 
Plus, you can share links to files or folders, making it super easy to collaborate with friends, family, or colleagues. So, in my Dropbox trigger, I'm going to select my trigger event as new file. So that whenever a new file is uploaded in my Dropbox, automatically Public Connect should capture the response. And now here to connect my Dropbox with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Dropbox account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Dropbox. And authorization successful. So here it easily got connected because I was already logged in in my Dropbox account. So to build an easy connection, make sure you are already logged in in your Dropbox account. So moving back to Pabli's window, and now here after building a successful connection, moving forward, and now here it is asking for folder path. So here in the instruction it says. Check a specific folder for new files. That means here we need to enter the folder path of that specific folder where we want whenever a new file is uploaded in that specific folder, automatically public connect should capture the response. So again here in the instruction it says while checking a file and folder name that is sample folder, the folder path will be slash sample folder. So here you can see it has given the instructions to write a folder path. So here to get this folder name, let me take you back to my Dropbox account. And here you can see my folder name is Dropbox to Notion. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to enter my folder path as per the instructions given below. So here I'm going to enter the slash. And then I'm going to enter my folder name that is Dropbox to Notion. So this is my folder path and now here after entering this folder path what I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload a new file in my Dropbox folder. So for that let me take you back to my Dropbox account and here I'm going to click on this upload or drop option. And as I'm going to upload a new file here so I'm going to select this file option. And here I'm going to click on this downloads and from here I'm going to upload a PDF which is named as Farm Magazine. And here you can see I have successfully uploaded the file here. So this is how it looks like. So moving back to Pabli's window. And now I'm going to click on this save and send test request given over here. And here you can see I have received a successful response where we have received the shareable link of the file. Also we have received the URL moving forward, the name of the file, display ID, size and some other details. So with this, we have successfully set up our trigger. Now here, let me tell you that Dropbox is a pooling based application. That means it will check for the new response in every 10 minutes. So now let's move to action step. And here I'm going to select my action application as Notion. So Notion is an all-in-one productivity tool that helps people organize their work and personal lives. It combines features like note-taking, task management, databases and calendars into one platform, making it easy to keep track of everything in one place. People use Notion to create to-do lists, plan projects, write documents and even collaborate with others. Its flexible and customizable interface allows users to tailor it to their specific needs, which is why it's popular among students, professionals, and teams. So in my Notion's action step, I'm going to select my action event as create a database item. So that whenever a new file is uploaded in my Dropbox, automatically a new item for that file should be created in my Notion database. And now here to connect my Notion with Public Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Notion account is already connected with Public Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Notion. And here you can see Public Connect is requesting for access. So here I'm going to click on the select pages. And from here, I'm going to select all pages so that I don't miss a specific page. And now here after selecting all the pages, I'm going to click on this allow access as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. So here after building a successful connection, moving forward, and then here it is asking me for a database. So here to get this database, let me take you back to my Notion account. And here you can see I have created a database with the name files. So moving back to Pabli's window and here I'm going to select my database as files. 
moving forward and now here it is asking for file url and file name so basically these are the fields which i have entered in my notion database so moving back to pabli's window and now here instead of entering these details manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i have received in my trigger step mapping makes a text dynamic so that whenever a new file is uploaded in my dropbox automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so here for the file url i'm going to map the shareable link which i have received in my trigger step so this is the shareable link moving forward and now here it is asking for file name so here i'm going to map the file name so this is the file name and now here it is asking for content so here it is not a required field so here i'm going to leave it blank but if you want to add any content then you can add it as per your need and now here after entering all the required data i'm going to click on the save and send test request and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully created new item in our notion database so now let's go and check it and here you can see we have successfully created a new item in our notion database with the file name as farm magazine and the file url let me open this for you and here you can see we can easily access this file because we have mapped the shareable link for that file so with this we have successfully set up our automation so now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not so to test our automation we need to upload a new file in our dropbox folder so for that let me take you back to my dropbox account and again here i'm going to upload a new file and for that i'm going to click on this upload or drop option and from here i'm going to select the file and now here this time i'm going to select a png format file so this is the file and here you can see we have successfully uploaded a new file here so now let's go and check our notion database here i'm going to refresh it and here you can see after refreshing also we haven't received a new item in our notion database because as i've already told you that here the dropbox is a pooling based application that means it will capture the new response in next 10 minutes so now here let's wait for some time so now it's been some time so now let's go and check our notion database and here you can see we have successfully received a new item here with the file name as company logo and the file url let me open this for you and here you can see the company logo so with this we have successfully tested our automation now let me summarize this whole video for you so here we have taken our trigger as dropbox and our action as notion so that whenever a new file is uploaded in our dropbox automatically a new item will be created in your notion database for that file Now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt you can contact us on support@zaritpabli.com. If you have any query you can contact us on forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you like the video please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.